Recently, small-scale movements have been started to address these disturbances as a result of the global changes in climate and the environment. In particular, accelerated global warming makes it more and more difficult for regions to properly adapt and reduce. The excessive amounts of greenhouse gases, or GHGs, such as carbon dioxide that are released into the atmosphere at a rate faster than natural carbon sequestration, are a major factor in global warming and are caused by the burning of fossil fuels. In order to prevent future environmental degradation, we must develop alternatives because life on Earth depends so heavily on fossil fuels. Geothermal energy is a more environmentally responsible and sustainable energy source. Geothermal energy. What is it? A renewable resource, geothermal energy is simply the heat that is produced by the Earth's subsurface and is found beneath the crust in things like rocks, low enthalpy, volcanoes, and geysers, high enthalpy. Geothermal energy can be used to produce electricity at geothermal power facilities that use hydrothermal resources without requiring any direct conversion for human consumption. In order to access extremely hot steam or water, wells must be dug into underground reservoirs at a depth of about a mile or two. This water or steam is then used to drive turbines connected to electricity generators. There are now three main categories of geothermal power plants. First type of geothermal engineering, dry steam, uses steam that is extracted straight from the earth to power generator turbines. The second type of geothermal plant, known as a flash steam plant, uses the earth's high-pressure hot water to create steam that drives generator turbines. Condensation takes place as the steam cools and the resulting water is redirected underground for reuse. Number three is binary plants. In these facilities, heat is transferred from geothermal hot water into a liquid that has a low boiling point. As a result, steam is produced, which powers the turbine generator. Geothermal energy is thought to be one of the most profitable energy sources, currently exceeding a number of conventional energy sources. By 2050, the use of carbon-free geothermal energy can assist in addressing the climate change crisis by offsetting more than 500 million metric tons, or MMT, of greenhouse gases in the electric sector and more than 1,250 MMT in the heating and cooling sector, which together equal the annual replacement of 26 million cars on the road. Geothermal energy proponents admit that strong public support is likely needed for the business to grow. This could entail mandates for more baseload power plants, whose output is constant, from renewable resources, legislative changes, staffing investments, or even guaranteed loans for uncertain well drilling operations. Although early geothermal advocacy initiatives had strong bipartisan backing, it's not clear how far lawmakers are ready to go to support geothermal. Like with most energy sources, residents who oppose development in specific locations have resisted several geothermal projects. While a plant in Hawaii has long encountered community opposition owing to noise and hydrogen sulfide leaks, a tribe in Nevada has battled a proposed project that it worries may harm hot springs and regards as sacred. States across the country might use geothermal energy to heat and cool structures, even in places where there isn't enough of the resource to run an electrical plant. Geothermal heat pumps, according to experts, may be able to lessen the pollutants produced by fossil fuel-based heating systems like natural gas furnaces. Geothermal heating and cooling adoption initiatives were enacted earlier this year by lawmakers in Massachusetts and New York. Industry leaders claimed that despite being stricter, California's standards are also clear. However, many other jurisdictions lack the expertise and personnel required to manage the kind of drilling operations required for geothermal energy. Some business backers anticipate greater uniformity as a result of the governor's group's approach. Standardization, according to Nick Goodman, CEO of CERC Energy, a geothermal energy generator with facilities spread across four states, would be really useful. Geothermal faces more difficult permission requirements than do wind and solar, and WGA could assist ensure that the agencies can carry out their duties and evaluate these licenses. Legislators in Colorado enacted a bill earlier this year to equalize the status of solar and geothermal energy. The law places restrictions on the fees that municipalities can charge for using geothermal energy systems, encourages consumer education, and calls for the state's energy office to include geothermal energy as a resource that utilities may use in plans to reduce their emissions. Rob Woodward, a Republican state senator from Colorado who co-sponsored the legislation, said it will primarily make small-scale domestic heating and cooling possible. 
In the upcoming session, he plans to introduce laws to encourage large-scale electricity generation and conduct research into it. According to the scientists he spoke with, Colorado could host three or four of these plants using current technology. Consider it to be almost a coal-fired power plant replacement. It continues to run non-stop. Geothermal energy is a reliable source of energy and takes up less space than wind and solar projects, some of which have faced criticism for taking over land that was formerly used for farming and forestry. Geothermal energy is entirely underground, according to Colorado Congressman Woodward. Wind and solar take up a lot of space, have an influence on birds and wildlife, and frequently occupy farmland that might otherwise be profitable. Many proponents believe that a developing geothermal business might utilize the drilling resources and labor currently used by the oil and gas sector, as well as restart decommissioned fossil fuel plants and potentially even access abandoned oil wells. Despite these potential benefits, scientists agree that government support is necessary for geothermal energy to attain its full potential. With this, we conclude our video. We appreciate you helping us keep it going by watching. The best way to support our channel is to watch another episode. Thank you for tuning in. To ensure that you never miss an episode, please subscribe to the channel.